I did many interviews across Canada. I didn't know much about Queens before I came here. And it's uh, when I uh, came for the interview uh, that I really fell in love with the place. Uh, when I did the interview, I, I met the, uh, some of the attendings and I uh, was really impressed at how friendly they were and how they basically welcomed me even before I was part of the program. I think we have an extremely collegial and friendly program. Uh, we're small enough that everyone knows everyone else and yet big enough that trainees get a really good, solid clinical exposure. But get that exposure in a really supportive environment. Uh, people don't slip through the cracks in our program. And the fact that it's a fairly small program it really facilitates some really individualized teaching. They do a really good job of tailoring the program to each individual resident. You get exposure to all the procedures, even when you're off service. They, if you're around and not busy, they'll find you and see if you're interested in helping out and being around if there's anything exciting happening. You get first crack at, at everything that interesting is happening, which is nice. And uh, the flexibility of the program, I think that wouldn't be possible if we were a, a much larger program with many more residents to try to balance and juggle the schedule. I wanted to work in a smaller unit where I could get to know uh, the people that I work with uh, and they could get to know me and, and know that they could depend on me and I could depend on them. You're well known, there's a terrific collegiality and community uh, between the faculty and the trainees. We're a social group, we're a friendly group and a feeling of family and a feeling of belonging for everyone who's part of it. I like having other people there to bounce ideas off of. Everyone brings different knowledge base and the collaboration doesn't have to be with another physician. It can be with the social workers, it can be with the nurses, the physiotherapists and just having that team-based uh, approach to patient care I think is wonderful. It's, it's good for the learners, it, it's good for mostly the patient and the patient's family because they just get lots of different support and lots of valuable information. Critical care training at Queen's really gives you an amazing, well-rounded critical care experience. We have single, multidisciplinary, high-acuity intensive care unit. That's a new, modern facility. We see a mix of patient populations, everything from cardiac to trauma to neurosurgical cases. And on a day-to-day -day basis, our trainees are exposed to a variety of complex cases in one single environment where they get the opportunity to follow patients over a longer period of time. Once every quarter we do a simulation session. What our simulation sessions are really starting to focus on now are, are more higher level you know, information processing and, uh, and crisis resource management about how to, you know, how to become a, a team leader and how to effectively communicate. And we focus on that quite a bit more when we're doing our, our simulation sessions. We also, we've had some simulation sessions, you know, dealing with more, you know, higher order critical care problems. So, you know, how to deal with the multiple poisoning patient or the multi-drug overdose and running that as a simulation session. And trying to integrate some of the other learning that we've done. Being in Kingston, even though it's a small center, we have a large catchment area. So we see a lot more pathology and a lot more trauma than you would think for a center this size. Kingston's a, a beautiful city with a, with a great downtown. Uh, it's very quaint, they've got a lot of great restaurants and uh, it's probably some of the best, <laughs> the best dining around. Uh, I also have a young family, I've got a four-year-old and a six-year-old and it's a great city to raise a family. Kingston's one of the only cities in Canada where you can actually own a home on a resident's salary and still be like a 15-minute bike ride to work. Kingston is a very really nice place to live. Everything is close by. You will often meet people that you know uh, and work with and that, that can be very enjoyable. I really like that I can live downtown, walk to work, and walk downtown. So you don't need a car, you don't need public transportation, you can just live your life as a walker and not have to ever deal with getting in to traffic and everybody's very friendly. What I hope is that our program is turning out physicians who first and foremost are outstanding clinicians. They know their stuff, they work hard, they apply new knowledge and provide world-class care to the patients they look after. And that's the track record our program has. 